Today's video is sponsored by UT1Buy.com. If you would like to buy a FIFA 15 Ultimate Team account preloaded with millions of coins, then make sure you check them out and use the code JARREDHD to get 5% off your order. Nice. G'day guys. How's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 17 of season 2 of the Arsenal career mode series. We kick off today's episode with the first leg of the Champions League semi-finals. We are taking on Paris Saint-Germain. This first leg is at home, the Emirates Stadium, and it would be fantastic to get a big, big win or a win at all over PSG to help us potentially make the Champions League final. That would be insane. Remember at the start of the season, I did say that winning the Champions League was my number one goal. So it's in our hands, and Begovic literally has the ball in his hands. But seven minutes into this game, Sanchez getting past Lovetsy, whips it in, it gets headed away, but it ends up at Goetz's feet. Goetz gets tackled first time. Aaron Ramsey! Oh my God! Aaron Ramsey gives us a 1-0 advantage. Eight minutes into this game, what a strike from Aaron Ramsey. Sweet Jesus. He is such a gun from long range. Anybody remember in real life when he did score that amazing goal against Galatasaray? But look at that. Ramsey almost picks up his second goal for this uh, matchup. As we go in fast forward mode, Goetze whips it into Sanchez. It goes off the line. It goes to Jackson Martinez. Who gets the header? But it is a great save there from Salvatore Sirigu. Pushing on though in the second half. Goetze to Jackson Martinez. He's cutting around Thiago Silva. Looking for an option. Plays it over the top to Sanchez. 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 Sanchez makes it 2-0 against PSG. What a remarkable game we are having. This is giving me so much confidence heading into the second leg. And it's not over there. 60 minutes into the game, only a few minutes later, Sanchez looking for a brace, cuts inside, squares it to Martinez, back to Ramsey, Aaron Ramsey, no way Jose, Aaron Ramsey picks up his second goal for this matchup, He's and they're both being outside the box, Aaron Ramsey, he is a man possessed, will she though on the ball, he's looking for an option, He's getting squared, squares it to go and Yaya Sunogo gives us a 4-0 win over PSG. That is insane. PSG have just been served the motherfucking D. For round 33 of the Barclays Premier League, we are traveling to Vicarage Road to take on Watford. Hopefully we can get all three points. As you can see, a win here by two goals or more would either put us at the top, or if we win by two goals, we'll be equal with Spurs. But if we win by two or three goals or more, we'll be outright first in the Barclays Premier League on goal difference. So we really need to defeat Watford here. But the main priority is just to get all three points. But more than three goals, definitely capable considering we're playing Watford and we were able to beat PSG by four goals so you never know though. Philippe Anderson playing it over the top to Yaya Sonogo who brings it down on the chest, takes the strike but Arthur Borek is able to make the save. 20 minutes after that though Philippe Anderson looking to get his name on the scorer's sheet. He absolutely destroys the defense of Watford, gets one on one and he is denied once again Borek making a fantastic save. In the second half, though, Yaya Sonogo, he is through past the defense, looking for an option. He does see Wellington Silva, and Wellington Silva, the Brazilian midfielder, gives us a 1-0 advantage against Watford on the run of play, away from home, and we just need to hold on, and we will be equal first on the Premier League table. Clichy making the tackle, but it ends up at Abdi to Troy Deeney, back to Abdi, back to Troy Deeney, and the striker looking for some support, looking for an option. He whips it in, missed by our defense, but luckily Begovic is able to make the save against Forestieri. We pick up all three, three points as we defeat Watford away from home. Nice stuff. Only about a week later do we have the Champions League semi-finals, the second leg. This time we are traveling to the Parc des Princes in Paris to take on PSG. 
hopefully we don't manage to blow a 4-0 lead. If we manage to do that, then there is something seriously wrong with me and I should just retire as a FIFA player. Anyways, PSG, I'm sure they're going to be playing Ultra Attack and coming out all guns blazing. But you know what? We are ready to counteract that. Howardes, Corsioni, Alaba, Debussy and Begovic all pumped up and all hoping to get us through to the Champions League final. Divne whipping it into Lucas, the Brazilian midfielder. He is go making good touch. Whips it back post to Pjanic and Marilyn Pjanic makes it an interesting ball game. Five minutes into it, PSG already have broken our wall and they make it a 4-1 scoreline on aggregate. So... We need to stay strong. We cannot afford to be conceding every five minutes. Otherwise, we're going to become the laughing stock of world football. Pjanic, though, he is tearing us to shreds. Can you believe it? The former Roma midfielder makes it 2-0 25 minutes into this game. And it is game on. We are only two goals in front. We can easily lose this. But we can easily make it our game. And Ertzil... Wants to get the win for us. He wants to secure this, but Sirigu denies him a good effort anyways. Four minutes after that, Ertzil playing it through to Jackson Martinez. The Colombian striker trying to get past Silva. He ends up tackling Dijonay. He's going to take the strike, but Sirigu is once again able to make the save. But lads, we're heading on to the final of the Champions League. A 4-2 aggregate victory over PSG. They did well in the second leg, but... We're going to be playing Barcelona in a few episodes time, two episodes time if I am right, and hopefully we can win the Champions League. Memphis Depay on the sidelines for about five days, no big deal, but not good at all. Alaba, a sprained knee, three weeks on the sidelines for him, that is not good at all. He is a very key player for us this season, so we hopefully he can come back for the Champions League final, but we do get six million pounds to add to the piggy bank. And the final matchup of today's episode is away from home. We are traveling to Caro Road to take on 14th placed Norwich City. We are in second position with two games in hand. Two wins is required from our next Premier League games if we want to go back on equal equal playing fields with Tottenham Hotspur. Here is the Norwich lineup, though. Some decent players. Rookie, Ricky Van Wolfsinkel, John Ruddy, uh, the song. Some decent, decent players there for the Canaries. But this is our lineup. Yaya Sinogo starting up top. Still a half-decent side. Should be able to get the job done over a side like Norwich. Jack Wilshere, Gertzor, Gertzor giving us a 1-0 advantage. A very lucky goal there. Just deflected off everything possible. So we're now 1-0 up. And then the 23rd minute, Coquillan. He is looking for an option. Plays it short to Goetze. Goetze, he's looking. He plays it to Wellington Silva. Back to Goetze. Goetze gets it past John Ruddy. And Goetze gives us a 2-0 advantage. 24 minutes into this game. That is absolutely fantastic. Only three minutes later, though. Murphy is on the ball. Playing it through to Johnny Housen. Housen whips it into Andreu. It goes back to Barami. But a good save there. But unfortunately... Not much we could have done about that. The, re well, the rebound, the uh, parry falls straight to the feet of Ricky Van Wolfsinkel. And he makes it a 2-1 scoreline. So the clean sheet is gone. We just need to make sure that we do hold on. And we've moved all the way to the 80th minute where Coquelin plays it to Yaya Sonogo. Yaya Sonogo, cheeky back heel to Molinaro to Philippe Anderson. Philippe Anderson, he secures all three points. A fantastic goal there from the for former Lazio winger. Giving us a 3 one victory away from home at Carrow Road against Norwich City. The Canaries, no points for you fellas. And look at this. Two episodes left of the Arsenal career mode series. Big two episodes. Next episode, Man City, Stoke, Southampton and Chelsea in the FA Cup final. And then the final episode, West Bromwich Albion on the Premier League final day. Can we win the Premier League You'll have to wait and see. And the Champions League final. So, absolutely massive games coming up. If you did enjoy today's episode, though, make sure that you smash the crap out of that like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links, as always, are in the description. But most importantly, lads, hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.